better. Before we kick off with today's video, today's video is sponsored by Davy Easton. Notifications are off. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Yesterday was a manic video and I didn't get a chance to show you the stuff that I picked up from the charity shop. It wasn't just what you saw on camera. And I've just got back from another charity shop again, the one in my local town, and I got some more stuff. So I've got quite a lot of stuff to show you. And I am tempted to do a whatnot stream with the clothing because it's starting to pile up on me now. I always have these intentions to list it. But I don't. One of my plans today is actually to get the clothing rail back up over there. So, oh, shall I do that now? Is that too much of a job? Huh. Look, basically, just there, I believe, is the perfect size for a clothing rail. Just got a few bits there. So if I do it, then I've got nowhere for that stuff. Do you know what I mean? Maybe I'm just giving myself more work. I don't really want to do that. But I do, actually. Do I want to? No. Or do I? I think I do. Oh, fuck. I think I do. I ain't got the rail up. I've thought about it too much now. I've already thought about it. My brain's gone. <laughs> we are going to pick three winners. So we're going to pick the Pokemon bundle and the two McDonald's bundle things. McDonald's toy things today. So stay tuned for that. I'm not going to bore you. The clothing rack is there. It needs building. That's a big gap. Bowls, clubs and whatever else. All needs moving. Nowhere for it. But I'm still going to move it out. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. I am. You've got nowhere to put it. Do you know what's funny is I'll do all this and then I'll realise I've actually got my measurements wrong anyway. No, I'm such a pessimist. It's going to be fine. Is that the top or the bottom rail? I can't measure it against that. It's a bit tight. Hopefully that's the top one, not the bottom, because if it's the bottom, it's even bigger. Hmm. I think we're going to be all right. How long have I got to use the excuse, but I'm still moving in? Got to be at least another good couple of months, isn't it? Where's that one go? Should we go on the bottom or the top? This one must go on the bottom. So, it fits. Yeah. I've got a tip for you content creators out there, or advice, or how you want to look at it. When you're filming stuff like that, like building a fucking railing whatever it is don't show the whole build of it nobody cares how you build it it's four little pop clips nobody cares it's boring so i filmed all of this because obviously i've got the camera running but what you have just seen is a snippet that's all people need they can use their imaginations they can figure out how you've built a fucking thing and if they really care to know how it's done they can ask you for a tutorial or look on youtube somebody else probably would have done an in-depth thing on how to pop two clips together just some advice. I now need to open that garage door, which I've got everything leaning against, to go inside to get my clothing hangers. Clothing hangers, coat hangers, whatever. Sound. Coat hangers. Or clothing hangers. Wait, how do I want to do this? Because <laughs> I'm trying out new ways of doing things, aren't I? So I'm a little bit like stuck. Do I want to get the clothing? I think I'm going to get the clothing out, hang it up, and then show you off the hangers. That's a good idea. It's going to take me about half an hour, but for you, it's going to be. Right, so from the clothing yesterday, I've actually got one on because it's a Ralph Lauren, and I wanted to see what the size was because I'm wearing my. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, wait, I got confused. <laughs> I'm wearing my shorts that um, Project Games absolutely loves. But I wanted to try one on because, as you'll see in a minute, all of the tags have been cut out, the neck tags. All of the RN numbers and the Ralph Lauren tags to show it's Ralph Lauren are in these bits. But look, I think they're a triple XL kind of size. So they're all really big, which is really, really, really good. And they were all £2.75 each. So we got this one. I think there was 11 in total. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So some of them feel quite stretchy. This one's like a brushed cotton. This one's like a brushed cotton as well, like a flannel. Yeah, two pounds seventy-five each. But if you look, they've cut the neck tags out. But you've still got all of these ones in here. So eleven of those what I picked up yesterday. But we haven't finished there. <laughs> Laura Ashley weekend. Two pound, like a nice little top slash dress type thing. A Night Addict top in XL, brand new with tags. I bought it because the design is fucking dope. I actually bought a pair of their trousers once before when I was into more gym and stuff. And we used to follow each other on Instagram about five, six years ago. I don't know who they are anymore. <laughs> that was what? Three quid? All Saints for two pounds fifty. These are Skechers. Didn't know they did anything other than shoes, to be honest with you. £3.50 each. You've got a Skechers gym top, no hood, and a Skechers gym top with hood. And then these two, which stink of smoke, so they're going in the wash. A pair of Nautica Chino shorts. They were, I think, £2, I think. Yeah, two quid. And this is really cool. This is only O'Neill. I believe it to be an older one. Not massively older, but older. Size medium. £2.75. I mean, it's going to be a, a winter seller, but look at that. O'Neill USA. Very, very nice, but that needs to go in the wash as well. So it just absolutely stinks of smoke, stale smoke as well. Both of them do. So whether one's contaminated the other or what, I don't know, but get out. Need to take this off though. I can't do it. It's too hot. It's too hot. But this one's really smart as well. Really nice sort of brushed cotton feel. But I am going to obviously measure it up and get my, get my size that way. But Ralph Lauren shirts in very big sizes, which these are, do very well. Regardless if somebody's been irritated by the neck label or not. Listen you people, think of the reseller, stop cutting your labels out. But I also picked up some hard goods from there as well. So let me show you those. So these are all from the same shop. All from the same shop, everything. This pickup was inspired by Lucy's Car Boot Loot. Lucy, thank you for the information. Thank you for the knowledge. So when I picked up some dinosaurs a little while ago, Jurassic World stuff, and I put the little yellow one back. I said, don't even try it, young man. Try sneaking in there. She told me that was Paw Patrol, lol. So I was like, maybe it's definitely worth picking up then because Lucy is like the toy queen. She knows all about toys. So then I saw this in there, which is, this is the yellow one. And it had three more, two more for 150. Did a quick Google search. Everybody can teach you something in this game. I think off the top of my head, there's about 15 quid in listings there. I think you can get more in separate if you separate them, but I'm not going to. Really, really cool. Lucy, thank you very much, mate. Hugo Boss perfumes, like um, makeup, not makeup bag, uh, toiletry bag. I've got that for myself. The one I use at the minute is a Ted Baker one, and it's just it's shit, shit. It's too big, too bulky, and this is perfect. And it was new. Well, it looks very new, 50p. Come on. Didn't even look this up. Boddington's vintage ashtray. I think it's melamine, yeah. Melamine, melamine, so it's just there actually. I can get probably most of those ash marks out of there. They look like burns, but I think most of those will come out. There's no like indenting, it's all just surface. £2.50? I've got no idea on the price. Hopefully at least 15 quid. Gino de Campo. If my grandmother had wheels, she would have been a bike. This is a cast iron Gino de Campo dish. Two pounds. Two pounds. Now, when I was editing the video yesterday, I knew that you could see it as soon as I walked in the door, because obviously when I was editing, I saw it. But I didn't show me picking it up. And I was half expecting everyone to go, there's a fucking cast iron pan there. It could be the Crusade. Go and check it. But nobody did, which is strange. No idea on value. You can research all this stuff yourself if you want to. I'm going to guess 18 quid. 5.95 size 9 slip-on sketches, although they call them slip-ins, which to be fair makes more sense. I'm going to guess 12 to 15 on vintage. I'm hoping. But I just I, I just know that comfort shoes slip in, slip on whatever, 6 quid, good size. It's worth more than that. So that's my method when I go into buying some things. I just think, is it going to be worth more than that after fees and postage? Yeah? Get it then. Especially when I'm buying loads of stuff up. Like these. <laughs> For three quid. What a ju They stink of smoke as well. They stink. Three quid. What do I mean to say to you? 
They're a size 43, so I think that is a nine. Yeah, size nine. A little bit of wear on the backs there, but nothing too major. I'll spray these down with a nice little solution that I've got, and I'll leave them in the sun, and then I'll keep repeating until the smell of smoke goes. It could just be surface smell from them clothes, actually. Oh, I don't want to sniff the inside. It's just too weird. And then this, £3.95. I'm pretty sure it's a bit of an edgy one. You know what I mean? A bit sensual. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's got a gay storyline to it. When I was doing some research into it, I'm pretty sure that that's what it was. But three of them are sealed. Only one of them's open. Imagine if it's not even the one in there. Yeah, it is. The English version there. Boys Love Hyper. 2006. Yeah, I was doing a little bit of research. I'm pretty sure it's a like a gay lesbian storyline thing. Let me just double check that before I cause drama. Kita Ito has one thing in his favour, luck. And luck has landed him a special invitation to attend the Bell Liberty Academy for Boys, an exclusive high school only for the most privileged, the most talented and the most beautiful. When a strange accident on moving day attracts the attention of Tetsuya Niwa, the student body president, and Karu Sianji, the class secretary, Kita finds himself centre of attention with the eyes of a whole school of pretty boys on him. Where will Ito find the time to unravel the mystery of his mysterious invitation? Who knows? But I think it's like, there's listings for £18 and £45 and souls of £18 and £45. That's got three of them sealed. I don't know. I just thought it was a cool little thing. Love a bit of manga. That'll sell fast, I'm sure. And that was all I got from that shop. But then you saw me go into St. Michael's and I was in there five minutes compared to the 45 minutes that I was in there and picked up one item. Yes, it was a high ticket item. Yes, it was a high priced item at £25. But these are the Kona boots and they should sell quite fast, quite quickly and quite strong as well. I'm guaranteed £80 back on these, guaranteed. But I'll be pushing for a little bit higher and working out the lowest offer that I can take in order for me to get this to pay for 100% of the stuff from yesterday. I'll be happy with 85 to 90% of the stuff paid for, but I want to get 100% paid for with this one item. I spent about 90 quid yesterday on stuff. Lovely. But I'll pick some more stuff up today, so I'm going to show you that quickly. There's not too much there, to be fair. That's going to be quite quick, but it's still interesting to show you. First time ever that my phone has says iPhone storage full. It just cut out, but it only cut out while I was grabbing the stuff. I've deleted stuff. Right, waffle on. Just popped into my local one on the way home. For five pounds, five whole pounds, picked up a really nice banker's lamp. Really, really nice. Feels a bit plasticky there, so I'm thinking it might be touch. But it might not be, but I don't know. But it's not nothing special. But the design is fantastic. It's older. It's got a nice little carry switch on the lead. And it's in really, really, really good condition. The housing is strong. Yeah, we'll do all right with that. Five quid. I'm hoping 35 to 40 back on that. As long as I get my fiver back, I don't care. Had a quick little Google search while I was in there. Apparently, this Homer sandwich maker, which was £5.50. Although well, there's a £6 sticker on there as well. Um, boxed. People are getting 50 quid for this. So, unboxed. 20, quick sale. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Nice. Shit, shit, shit. I forgot that I'd wrapped cups up in a t-shirt. My God. Sounds good. Ah, so first of all, I think this was three pound or two pound, three pound. We've got a mammoth t-shirt. Really, really nice. Little bit of a embroidery hit on the back there. That'll just go straight on the rail. It didn't land anywhere near the rail. 75 pence each. We've got these Jane and Stephen mugs. They're really nice. You've got otters around a pond with some reeds there. And I think these are like, I don't know, some kind of, not a peacock, but I don't know, my birds. Really, really nice. 75 pence each. Absolute bargain. I'm hoping for about 18 quid for the pair on them. And although I couldn't see it, probably there might be a date under there actually. I couldn't see a date on this, so it could be a re release, but it does look quite old. It's 101 Dalmatians, that's why I picked it up. It wasn't 102, it was 101, but I can't see any Disney logo in and on there. And half of me think there's a part of me that thinks it might be color changing, it might be. I'll find out there, but let me just peel the bottom off of that and see if there is a date underneath or a maker's mark, see if it's. Made in Japan. Made in Japan Disney. Made exclusively for the Walt Disney Company. 
So there will be some screenshots of it up here. I don't know what the price is, but it's more than 75 pence, isn't it? Really, really cool. Happy with that. And this, I always open a suspicious looking case. I opened it up. Oh. Can't be trusted. I need to get a I need to get a job which like sells pillows or something. <sighs> but for seven pounds is this Bose speaker. Seven quid. It wasn't turning on in the shop, but Matey Boy who does all the electrical testing, he was in there today, so I'm just assuming that he's electrically tested this at least. Let's find the lead. I had a lead yesterday. Where is it? There it is. Let's see together if it's actually going to turn on. But for seven, but for seven pound, they sell for like forty to fifty, up to like sixty nine ninety nine. The blue one seems to be a bit of a rarer colour. They're called in colour or something. Bose in colour. Sound link colour. Bose sound link colour. We've got some flashing lights. We've got a little bit of sound. I'm guessing it means the battery's dead. So we're going to leave that to charge. But for £7, I'm hoping £40 plus back on that, which would be lovely. Like I say, if the average price is 70 quid, and mine might be the only one listed, I didn't see any other blues, I might list it for around about the asking price. But if there's more, and it's saturated, or at least there's a bit of competition, I'm going to blow them all out of the water. Oh, before we go anywhere... Can you see why they call it Hillside? It works. Oh my God. Just realised, I haven't had the GoPro on. Very loud. But it works. So that was my pickups from yesterday and today. Told you I wouldn't leave you hanging. I'll sneak this into the video somewhere. Couple of sales. Three LED drivers for £20.97. And, and you might remember those VHS tapes that I picked up and I paid £20 for the bundle, I think. And I had some good ones in there and I said, they'll sell well, they'll be slow tricklers, but they'll sell well. 50 quid. £50 for this extreme skating video. 1989, I think it is. Or 1990, Hocus Pocus by H Street. 50 quid and it's off to Australia. You know them boys love a bit of extreme sports. Fantastic. And for a total of £20.98, if I remember correctly, is those chess pieces that I picked up. I think these were 50p or a pound from the car boot sale. I can't exactly remember. But £20.98 all in. Lovely jubbly. Just packing up the skating VHS, which is off to Australia, and I found a box. And I just thought it was very fitting. Now let's pick some winners. Okay, we're going to bash out all three in one go. So let me check the comments on this one. Fish and. This one is for the BK fish thing. There we go. Right, paste that. Fetch. Keyword filter. Fish and. Continue. 35 comments. Pick a winner. And the winner for the fish is... Stell. Fish and expensive Gregs. Oof. Polly won't say. So that one is for this one, the McDonald's toy, new and sealed. I'm going to go check out. Yeah, you are. So still, make sure you get hold of me. Instagram, email, all in the description down below. Right, so I need to refresh that. Pop that one in there. Keyword filter, Polly. Oh, I did do it, man. What are you doing? Fetch, keyword filter, Polly. Why is it not doing that? Fucking pissing me off. 57. So the winner for the McDonald's poly, whatever it is, parrot probably from, I don't know, something. And the winner is BZ Big Up, my man. Polly wants a minifigure for one pound off or whatnot. Hopefully that's arrived to you by now. Bro, message me. Let's get this out to you. Thank you, mate. Right, and the next one is for the Pokemon cards. That's these brand new and sealed Japanese Pokemon cards. I don't know what the set is or what age they are. 20. 20 probably 2022 keyword filter your pokemon name is there we go your pokemon name is 35 comments and the winner is stefan james your pokemon name is nana nosh love the videos man cheers dude i appreciate it he's referring to the like public banana eating let's move on from that Contact details are all down below. Instagram, email if you haven't got Instagram. Holler at me and we'll get these things on the way to you. A video where I was tying up loose ends today to show you the stuff that I picked up and pick those winners and get them all tied up and caught up because yesterday left me behind a little bit. I'm going to sneeze. Sneeze.
sneezing makes me feel like we're going to a different dimension. I really appreciate you all for watching. Thank you for your patience. There'll be a competition in the next video. Like I said, today I'm just tying up some loose ends. Really appreciate it. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.